Friday, everybody. It's me, Vicky. How are you guys? Yes, the weekend is here, and not only is the weekend here, Christmas is on Sunday. Yes! I made this purchase for my daughter, and I purchased at Ashton Drake Galleries. That's from this company. They sell dolls that look very realistic, supposedly, and um, all types of different dolls. And I, uh, so what happened, let me tell you a quick little story. So I love dolls. Since I was a little girl, I've always loved dolls. I saw this little girl's beautiful doll. Like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. So my daughter was like, oh my God, mommy, I want her. Oh my God, da 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 da. So we go on the website and we browse and we happen to see the crew go into the company and I'm thinking that the doll would be under $50. No, it's not. It's like a hundred and something, fifty bucks. Okay, it's that much money. But I never spent that much money on any doll, any toy before. Now, the thing is, this is not a toy. It's a collectible item. So that's the reason why it's so much because they're supposed to collect it and not let children play with it. However, I decided to make the purchase of my youngest daughter because she really deserves it. She does good in school. I, I just went to a parents teachers meeting. Oh my God, she's doing. Awesome. All her grades are like, you know what? Two thumbs up. Okay. So to my husband, we discussed it and we decided to make a purchase. So, this was for her birthday now. So, the package comes in and it was well packaged. Awesome. Well packaged. And this is the box that it came in. This box right here. It came in this box and inside, this is what it looked like. Just like that. Very well wrapped. And it also came with this uh, certificate of authenticity, and it says her name, which is Alexis. We do not like the name Alexis, so we named the doll Tia instead. And um, everything looked pretty good. I mean, beautiful. So we, my daughter is eager, and so am I. I love baby dolls too. But you know, not to that extreme. But you know. But uh, so we. Boom. The minute we look at her, we're a little disappointed because she does not look exactly like what we thought she would look like. I mean, she's cute and all, but something was off. Her complexion was like kind of like ashy and off, but she's still beautiful, okay? The clothes was nice. Now, the problem that we had was her hair. Her hair, extremely thin. I mean, like, oh my God, it was thin. It was like these two little tiny little pigtails, nothing back here. You could see the scalp. It was just a mess. So, I was like, I'm sending this back. This is, you know, I'm spending too much money to have something that's not this perfect. I expect it to be perfect. And, you know, when you spend that much, you want the best. Unfortunately, <laughs> my youngest daughter was like, no, mommy, I love her. She's so cute. Da -da 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 -da. So I said, you know what? Hmm, what can I possibly do to make this doll look a little better? So I decided to give her a makeover, which I did. So this is how she used to look. On the left hand side, her hair was really curly and it looks really cute. She looks all bright and beautiful. But when we took her out of the box, like you could see on the right hand side, her hair is not as curly. It was all flat, thin. It looked just, it just was a mess. We, I was very disappointed. I was really ready to send this back, but I decided to keep her. Bam, this is what she looks like now. As you can see, she has this curly little afro. Okay, I took an old hair piece of mine, which is this one. It's like it was a ponytail little hair piece for the back of your head. And I figured I don't use it anymore. This is really old. Thank God I didn't throw it away. Uh, so I decided to chop it up and I just started using it. I glued it into her scalp, you know, and I started fixing it. So I gave her a curly fro as opposed to the hairstyle that it came with. I made her hair a lot full. It's very full right now. It's full hair everywhere. I went and every, I mean like everywhere in her hair were like bald little patches. And I was like, what the heck? This is not cute at all. And for the money, the amount of money that you spend for her, you would expect her to look amazing. So not only did I do, we do the hair, I did her eyebrows, I gave her a darker eyebrow. I put some little lipstick on her, I did her nails, and I also did her toes as well. Okay, so, you know, overall, this is a beautiful little doll. It's a natural hair girl doll. I mean, hey, I think it's cute. And, but I just had to do what I had to do to make her look more 
presentable, you know, and my daughter really wanted it, and you know, so I figured why not. So what happened is now I, what I love about this doll is you can put her in different positions and she stays in those positions. Like, you know, whatever position you want, she, she will cross her leg. I mean, she does everything. Her positioning is just really, really cute. And it's just a really cute doll. But for the amount of money that you spend for these dolls, I mean, it's it, it should be perfect. That's all I'm saying. So I did see on Amazon that some review, a review, she, she did not get a lot of good reviews. But I still went ahead and said, you know what, let me see for myself. You know, as opposed to listening to the reviews and stuff like that. I did not get this from Amazon. I went to the actual company itself to get the, to purchase the doll online. So, you know, I think it's a great birthday gift and everything. So, again, so this is what I did. I gave her the, the curly fro. I think it looks, she looks much better with the hair like this as opposed to, uh, as opposed to the way it came, you know. I didn't like it. I was like very dis disappointed and so was my daughter. I really wanted to send it back, but my daughter like was like, no, I love it. I love it. She's cute. She, you know, I'm going to keep her and blah, blah, blah. So we decided to keep her, right? <laughs> so this is, so this is a cute little collectible, but I strongly, I wouldn't advise anybody to purchase this doll. You know, because uh, in my opinion, it could be better. Okay, I'm not trying to knock the company or anything. There are other dolls as well. I mean, really cute stuff, but I'm afraid to really make another purchase because I don't know what's going to happen. Because for the amount, again, for the millionth time, the amount of money that you spend for something, you want to definitely have, you know, get your money's worth. Pretty much, you don't want to, you don't want to buy something and regret it. You know, I mean, I don't regret it. Well, yeah, that's a lot of money. I could have took that. The, money, the amount of money that I bought for this doll, I could have bought like 20 different, 20 dolls for my daughter. She would have 20 as opposed to just this one, and we're not even happy with it. She's happy now. She was happy when she got it, but we didn't like the hair. And like I said, the skin tone was a little bit like strange. But overall, I gave, I redid her, you know, diva styled her, you know, how it is. I have to do something to make her look decent okay close-up look of her curly hair that i redid added some extensions in there i did her eyebrows i added some lipstick i did her fingernails i added some nail polish i also added some nail polish to her little toesy woesies and that's basically it so that's a close-up look of her she's adorable so i did the best that i could do to make her look better than how she looked originally Cute. Anyway, guys, just wanted to show you guys uh, this doll. Uh, so this is my youngest daughter's little dolly, and uh, and this is my true and honest review. So with that being said, guys, take care. Say bye. Her name is Tia, not Alexis. We don't want to name her Alexis. Okay. So anyway, take care.